Uh, hello there, my pirate brethren. Hope you're all having a great week. So, I've had a few t hours to sink into season two now, and yeah, let's talk about the books because <laughs> there's uh, there's quite a few. And you know what? To be fair, it is not too surprising um, when they've introduced this many new systems and this many adjustments to the game. It's not surprising at all that there is bugs. I've had a lot of people on my channel yesterday telling me about the issues they faced when uh, re either returning to the game for the first time in a while or just simply signing back in since the update to Season 2. Before we get into what I've seen personally and what I think we should do about it, um, I just want to point out, yes, I... Made a mistake yesterday. Yes, you can still buy items from the store with silver. I'm an idiot. Everyone told me so yesterday. But to be fair, I did get up yesterday at really, really stupid o'clock in order to catch your footage before I started work. And I was only half awake and just didn't realise that you can go up, up or down to select the different currencies. But I get it now. So thank you for everyone who told me about it. Um... Yes, let's talk about the let's talk about the uh, the bugs. Um, first and foremost, I just want to say that I am genuinely very, very, very pleased with uh, season two so far. I really like the new enemy faction, the chorus fleet. I like the fact that they're not just um, bullet sponges like the pestilence fleet, and I like the fact that they are really threatening if you don't pay attention. Um, I think it's much better to have them be more dangerous than be than be just generally tough. So I really like that change overall. And it just means that every fight is just more engaging because I have a chance of winning as long as I do it right. And I'm not just grinding them down and going through thousands and thousands of cannonballs. Um, okay. But we're going to talk about the rest of Season 2 in further videos later on this week. But let's talk about bugs. So people have had a number of kind of serious issues crop up. I've had lots of people reporting uh, hard crashes. I myself have experienced this. I had crashed this morning during a group fight with the uh, uh, Soleri Royale, the, uh, the new elite warship of the company Royale. And that was annoying. I was able to rejoin and finish the fight, thankfully. But if I'd been kicked and that fight had ended without me, I would have been annoyed because that is a tough fight. Um, however, unfortunately, it looks like at least on Xbox, and just to remind everyone, I do play on uh, Xbox Series X and S, um, at least on Xbox consoles, that there is still some crashes to home screen happening. Thankfully, not console crashes where you have to um, restart your entire console, just uh, crashes back to the home screen. Um, I also personally have experienced a really weird issue where halfway through playing last night, after about 30 minutes, the audio just completely failed. It started off getting glitchy on my way to do a, um, a plunder at a uh, fort and just all of a sudden sputtered out and never came back until I, again, quit the game back to home screen and rebooted it. Um, I've had people report issues with the hostile takeovers where they're, they're basically beating a hostile takeover but not actually getting the reward. I think that has been that is actually resolved by a reboot but it's definitely been experienced by a number of people i've had people report that they have lost not just currency items but um smugglers um, items as well like rum and opium from their inventory i myself didn't experience this but i don't generally have that stuff in inventory i'm normally processing it or selling it immediately um so yeah if you've also experienced that issue please let me know because i've had a, at least a couple of people report it to me but anyway as there is quite a few bugs going on you can absolutely rant about it on my comment in my comments and talk to me about it and i'll let you know if i've heard other people talking about it but there is a dedicated bug reporting tool um, over on the ubisoft site i am going to link it in the comments below please make a point of using it they do prioritize bugs based based on a number of factors, including the volume in which it's being experienced by the players. So don't think just because somebody else has reported it that it's a done deal. If you add your name to it, it should get more attention and should be resolved quickly. Now, I have, again, just to remind everyone, not an insider here. I have no additional knowledge beyond what you guys do. Um, however, if you were to ask me if I was expecting us to get a hot fix or a patch for this game i would say we might get one before the end of the week um, if not i definitely expect us to be getting a patch with next week's maintenance which usually takes place either during the night on monday or 
Tuesday during the day, depending on where you are in the world. So yeah, please make a point of actually filling out bug reports. It really helps games like this, especially, you know, when it's really, really breaking the immersion and just dropping you out of it. Anyway, guys, I just promised I'm going to talk about Skull and Bones every day this week. I have loads and loads of things to talk about. There's so much, you know, new things to kind of go over with all the new systems they've introduced, but I don't want to just drag on the videos for the sake of dragging them on. Um, I'm also taking the opportunity to talk about other topics as well. It is um, it is game show season, so we should be getting, uh, you know, excited about the new games that are going to be revealed. I'm going to be making a video on probably Thursday, maybe Friday, regarding what I think will happen at Ubisoft Forward, because obviously I talk about Ubisoft games on my channel. Um, I'm probably also going to make one about the Xbox Showcase, just because I'm an Xbox camera as well, but definitely, definitely the Ubisoft um, Forward event. I have some predictions about what we're going to see there, and I'm very, very excited for it. So if you're interested in seeing more of that, if you're interested in quick and consistent Skull and Bones content, and you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and consider giving this video a like, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you very much.